Hello and welcome back to the Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel where today we're going to be looking at surfer's ear. We're going to be looking at exactly what the symptoms are, what causes it, how you can prevent it and how you can treat it. Before we get into the video I'd like to ask you guys a quick favour. If you enjoy this video please remember to like it, share it with your friends and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get the latest notifications for all the newest videos which I'm trying to post once a week. So we're going to start off by looking at exactly what is an exotosis or a surfer's ear. So essentially surfer's ear is a layperson's term used to describe something called an exotosis which is an abnormal bone growth in the ear canal. So you can see here several different grades of exotosis. Grade zero which I'm pointing to here is completely normal. That's a normal tympanic membrane. Now, if we look at grade one, grade two, and grade three, you can see these bony growths just here, here, and then obviously in grade three here, almost occluding the entire ear canal. Now, if the ear canal is blocked by these growths, infection can occur. And these occur because irritation from cold wind and water exposes the bone of the surrounding ear canal to develop lumps of new bony growth which constrict it. It's very common in surfers and most have some sort of exotosis which cause no problems at all. The condition isn't limited to surfing and it can occur in any activity with cold, wet and windy conditions such as windsurfing, sailing and diving. So what exactly are the symptoms of um, surfer's ear or exotosis? Well, there is decreased hearing or hearing loss, which can be temporary or ongoing. You can get increased prevalence of ear infections causing ear pain. You can also get difficulty evacuating debris or water from the ear, causing a plugging sensation. So how do you manage it? Well, prevention really is key. I therefore encourage your patients who do these kinds of sports to use earplugs. So you can see here a gentleman who serves is clearly wearing earplugs and that can be a really effective form of, um, of prevention. You can also wear wetsuit hats such as the gentleman here in this um, image and also you can wear swimming caps. But if the bony growths become so bad that they're really causing symptoms such as hearing loss or blockage, then you should refer the person to an ENT surgeon for assessment who might assess them for an operation. That was a summary of Surfer's Ear. I hope you found it useful. And as ever, if you've got any comments or queries, just leave in the comments box below. Thanks again.